Yellow, it is N60 short. It is time for the Money in the Bank ladder match at N60 Mania. Lots of stuff going on here because it's Fan Request Friday. So you guys have chosen one of the competitors from a list of about like eight or nine. Uh, and also as well, we've gone through all of the entries for the, uh, the Heroes section of the YouTubers and Heroes tournament at the beginning of Season 6. And we picked one of those out to appear in this Money in the Bank ladder match as well. If you have no idea what a Money in the Bank ladder match is, uh, it's going to be six competitors all uh, fighting to climb to the top of a ladder and retrieve the Money in the Bank briefcase. That briefcase entitles whoever grabs it to uh, a title match of their choosing at any point. So we've... Uh, We've seen that being used to a few uh, people's advantages in the past. And uh, here comes Logan Paul. We've, we've just seen Dan TDM enter, enter Jacksepticeye also in the ring. Logan Paul, um, the third of the fourth uh, confirmed competitors for this match. Logan Paul qualified for the Money in the Bank uh, ladder match by beating his brother Jake with the help of, <laughs> of Mickey Mouse, obviously. And uh, can Logan Paul carry on that momentum that he got for beating his uh, brother Jake in an Extreme Rules match and retrieve the Money in the Bank briefcase. But before uh, we find out who's, uh, who's going out next, let's find out who you chose on Fan Request Friday. Eight or nine options there. Is it going to be uh, Logan's brother Jake, Valerio, Bendy, Matt Pat, Mini Lap, Black Hair and Bryce, Typical Gamer or Popular MMOs? You guys chose Matt Pat to make his uh, make his debut from the game theorists and uh, he's a guy who you've been asking for for ages in the comments and Matt Pat finally makes his N60 Sean debut in the Money in the Bank ladder match as well um, we've seen success in Money in the Bank ladder match debuts uh, Vanox won the Money in the Bank ladder match um, I believe on his debut we also saw Ohm record debut in the Money in the Bank ladder match and now he's in the finals for an N60 championship. So can uh, can Matt Pat turn up and take the briefcase and put himself in line for a championship match? It should be a, be a huge moment for Matt Pat. Hopefully, regardless of whether he wins or loses, we'll see more of Matt Pat on the channel. And uh, now, I believe we're gonna be having our heroes entrant to this match. And it is none other than Dr. Pringles. I mean, when I was like, what is probably one of the best hero names ever? You can, you cannot argue with Dr. Pringles. Look at this guy. So Dr. Pringles, not only is he smart, not only does he love Pringles, but he is also freakishly strong as well. I mean, we've had Captain Fanta. Now we've got a Dr. of Pringles. And he also looks like he's got Father Christmas's coat on. Uh, but Dr. Pringles now making his way to the ring, hoping that he is going to really make an impact in the Heroes division. And what better impact could you make by taking that uh, Money in the Bank briefcase, especially when you got Captain Fanta taking on the Wraith in the Heroes Championship match later on at N60 Mania. I'm not sure what's going to be left of Captain Fanta. It could be a good time to cash in. Here comes Exploding TNT, our sixth entry in the Money in the Bank Ladder match. Wait a wait a second, Vanos. This guy is just he's just too much. And now Vanos with a sledgehammer to the knees of exploding TNT. Exploding TNT isn't going to be climbing any ladders. And has Vanos just stolen exploding TNT spot in the Money in the Bank ladder match? I mean, N60 Sean's been incapacitated. He can't. There's nothing he can really do about this. Vanos, who jumped in 60 Sean in the last video, has now stolen Exploding TNT's Money in the Bank ladder match spot. And Vanos, who has a checkered history with the Money in the Bank briefcase, we mentioned earlier he won in the first ever Money in the Bank ladder match. He's also held it a second time when he stole it off of Will Power. Didn't fa fail to cash it in though because of uh, his buddy H2O Delirious and Vanos who will always go by any means necessary to try and get his hands on the N60 Championship annoyed at being overlooked for N60 Mania told N60 Sean he was going to make an impact at N60 Mania whether he was given the opportunity or not and he has taken one now and he's going, I oh, went for the curb top oh! Dr. Pringles! Dr. Pringles has re reversed the curb stomp into an RKO 
Shades of Randy Orton at WrestleMania 31. Dr. Pringles, man. Feisty little uh, little chappy. But he's now just had his neck smashed against Vanos' knee, which is probably going to turn that turn that smile upside down. And now Vanos climbing up the ladder. Vanos experiencing these matches. But Matt Pack with his first real impact in the contest. In, oh, Jack, man. What were you even thinking of there? Jack said to guy went for like a springboard moonsault. I don't know if he was expecting someone to be there, but all he just got was ribs full of ladder. And now Logan Paul, Jack Septikai facing off. Dan TDM and Dr. Pringles. <laughs> Dr. Pringles. I love Dr. Pringles. Uh, face off in the bottom half of the ring. Swinging net breaker. And look at this. Dr. Pringles flexing and dropping the elbow on Dan TDM. And now Vanos and Jack Septikai were about to face off. But Vanos grabbed Dr. Pringles, went for a backdrop, but Dr. Pringles manages to wriggle out of it. Logan Paul back in the ring now. His map hat looks to be assembling a ladder. Jack Septikai sat looking sad on the outside of the ring. Dan TDM returns in the ring and Dr. Pringles with a kick to the midsection of Logan Paul. It's quite a colourful array of characters we've got in the ring here. Nice jawbreaker. And oh, maybe go looking for the gentleman's clutch here from Dr. Pringles. And look at this, suplexes everywhere. Zigzag from Jack Septikai. Nice neck breaker from Matt Pat and Dr. Pringles is up on the top of the ladder. Could be looking to unhook that briefcase, but Matt Pat, who's going to want to be getting that briefcase for himself in his debut. Jack Septikai goes for a backdrop, but Matt Pat manages to land on his feet. And oh wait, what's happened here? Matt Pat using the power of levitation earlier on in this bad. What on earth happened there? He's going for a sidewalk slam, but he's sort of got knocked out of his hands. And another, oh man, did you see Jack's head snap against the back of that ladder? Oh man, that is not good news for Jack Septikai, especially if you're going to follow it up with a flying Inziguri kick from Matt Pat. Matt Pat might be looking for his finisher here, the end game theory. And he hits it, the end game theory on that ladder. And Jack Septikai has not had any luck with ladders or just anything in general. He took that moonsault, missed that moonsault and hit the ladder. He's taken an end game theory on the ladder and he's also smacked the back of his head on a ladder. It's already going on well with ladders. His old jackpot. Oh man, Matt Pat brought from the outside of the ring, hard way onto that ladder. And now Dr. Pringles. Dr. Pringles is determined to secure a little cheeky victory here. Try to unhook that briefcase, but now Logan Paul. Look how stacked Dr. Pringles is. And but Matt Pat, again, who's enjoying shoving over a ladder in this match. Dan TDM with a back suplex. Vanos is back in the ring now. I mean, how what? Vanos sneaking a money, a third money in the bank briefcase win would be unbelievable scenes. And what would that mean for the title matches coming up for the rest of N60 Mania? And wait a second, Vanos has got Dan TDM on the outside of the ring. Jack Septicai's climbed up the ladder. And oh, by days, Vanos has just superplexed Dan TDM. And Jack might be able to steal the, steal the briefcase here, but Dr. Pringles pushing the ladder away. And Dan TDM suplexed from the top rope to the outside of the ring through a ladder by Vanos, and Vanos is a serious man when it comes to the N60 Championship. Logan Paul now looks all alone in the middle of the ring, but no, Vanos manages to sneak back in. Vanos, quite slow up those ladders these days. But oh man, eats the top of that ladder, and now Logan Paul with right hands trying to knock Vanos off of the ladder. Now we've got a fist fight on top of the ladder, which Vanos has come out on top of, but Jack Septicai managing to push Vanos off of the top rope. Oh, it's Dan TDM looking for there, but maybe looking for a diamond cutter. But Dr. Pringles with a spin kick. And Logan Paul is once again set up the ladder. This has all been very much Logan Paul in Vanos and Dr. Pringles. We don't see much of Jackaboy get up to the top of that ladder. And now, Dr. Pringles pushes the ladder at a diamond bomb from the top of the briefcase down to the floor, onto a ladder. And Dr. Pringles sent him slowly out of the ring there. And now Dan TDM sets up a ladder. Dan TDM, who's always been quite close in, but no cigar, in a lot of these sort of title, in money in the bank opportunities. And now Vanos pushes Dan TDM. And he takes the drop. Maybe, oh, I know. Pat, Matt Pat was looking for the uh, end game theory again, but Jack manages to, with a nice reversal, to wriggle out of it. And now Logan Paul sliding into the ring. Logan Paul looking for the rock bottom, but Jack Septicai managing to use elbows to reverse out of that. 
Nice Green Bay plunge from Dr. Pringles. Logan Paul now set out the ring. And oh, Vanos. Look at these two. Jack Sensei and Vanos go way back. In fact, Vanos, who's about to hit a jack. He hit by a jackhammer here. Cashed in his first Money in the Bank briefcase against Jack Septicai, stealing the title from him. He even tried to cash it in a second time, but didn't quite, didn't quite manage it that time. And uh, now Jack Septicai is taking some ladder to the face. Diamond bomb on Dr. Pringles. Paging Dr. Pringles. You might want to go and check yourself out there, mate, because that is a sick old diamond bomb slamming him down on the back of his neck. And uh, Do Dr. Pringles with a double, double leg takedown. Went for a suplex on Logan Paul, but Logan Paul managed to reverse out of it. Reverse DDT from Logan Paul. Vanos is in the ring. Dan TDM with elbows to Vanos. And now where is Logan Paul off to now? And we know that Jake Paul and Logan Paul can take things too far. And now what it oh mate. This doesn't look good. Logan Paul setting up a ladder bridge on the outside of the ring. And he's got his eyes on Jack. I think he might be. Oh, it looked like he was going to try and get Jack on there, but Jack, I think, managed to shift his body weight and reverse the Irish whip and escape it to an extent. And now Matt Pat has got Logan Paul. And could this ladder bridge backfire on Logan Paul? As he said, spine first onto that ladder bridge. Matt Pat. Oh, Matt Pat with the top rope with a big splash, putting Logan Paul through his own ladder bridge. That's not gone very well for you, mate, has it? I think you should have thought about that before. Messing about with ladder bridges. Stop mucking about with the ladders. Start just putting them up and climbing. A diamond cutter to Matt Pat on a ladder from Dan. What is Dr. Pringles thinking here? Dr. Pringles, oh my days. Dr. Pringles is flying. We've got a flying Pringle man. Dr. Pringles, oh my dilly gone Garni. Jack Steps guys near battles repeatedly in the groinal area. And a flying backdrop. This one is coming unglued in the latter stages of this contest. Who is going to be climbing to the top of that ladder and taking that briefcase? Everyone seems to be pretty even here. And a, another roundhouse from Matt Pat. And Vanos is going for another jackhammer. Jack Sentakai and Vanos, long term rivals. And Matt Pat could be setting up for the end game theory once again. But this time on Dan TDM, hits it. Very similar to the diamond cutter in terms of technique. But the end game theory lays out down TDM. And now Jack's setting up the ladder. Scuttling himself up there. And now Jack's got his hands on the briefcase, but takes a shot to the spine from Matt Pat. Dr. Pringles now. Did he just kiss him or headbutt him? I'm not sure what Mr. Dr. Pringles did to Jack's head to go yet. But what I can tell you is everyone is on the ground. Everyone is in pain. Everyone is hurting. This has been a match which is going to have taken it out of everyone. I think I just saw Vanos deliver a hurricane runner to Dan TDM right in the bottom left hand corner of the screen as Matt Pat sets up a ladder. Vanos now in the ring. Matt Pat with both hands on the briefcase and Vanos slowly and gingerly climbing up. Do you remember when we were saying in the tournament that we thought that Vanos might be carrying an injury, hence why he wasn't in that match, in the matches as much as is. The way that he's climbing up that ladder and the speed that he's going up makes me think that he could be holding an injury and this isn't going to help if he is a swinging was that like a modified version of the end game theory off the top of a ladder to Vanos and now Logan Paul flying off the top of a ladder courtesy of Dr. Pringles Matt Pat sending Dr. Pringles flying to the outside Matt Pat's all alone in the ring Matt Pat this is your opportunity mate you need to set up that ladder could Matt Pat be getting the money in the bank briefcase in his debut sets up the ladder but he's just taking a little bit too much punishment to be Climb up quicker, please. Matt Pat, up to the top of the ladder. Nobody's about. He's got his hands on the briefcase. Can he unhook the briefcase? Matt Pat, in his debut, in Money in the Bank. What is he doing? Why is he taking so long? But no, Dr. Brinkles. Oh, man, I thought that was Matt Pat's to win then. And now Matt Pat is so Jack Sensei going to walk straight into an endgame theory off the top of the ladder. Oh man, I thought I thought that was Matt Pat's to win then. Logan Paul and oh more high risk moves as Dr. Pringles drops Logan Paul from the top of that. And can Dan TDM capitalize? Everybody's down. Dan TDM with both hands on the briefcase. Dan TDM surely is Mr. Money in the Bank. Uh, but can he just undo the briefcase? He, no, Matt Pat. 
Matt Pat's back up, but Vanos shoving everybody down. Man, Matt Pat and Dan TDM have come so, so close. And Cat, but can they just push it over the line and do what it takes? Because everybody's outside of the ring. And Matt Pat again sneaking around, but Logan Paul still in the ring. Oh, I thought Matt Pat was just going to sneak it a second time. And again, everybody tumbling down. Dr. Pringles sends Vanos to the outside of the ring. Now we've just got Jack Septicai and Dr. Pringles in the ring with Dan TDM. Dan TDM, who took quite a bump then. And then we've got Jack Septicai and Dan TDM in the ring and Logan Paul. But Logan Paul has just walked straight into a diamond cutter from Dan TDM. Jack Septicai looking groggy, a second diamond cutter. Dan TDM's got everyone out. Everyone else is unconscious on the outside of the ring. Dan TDM's got his hands on the briefcase. Logan Paul. Don't be messing around with Jack Zetskar. You need to get up there because Dan TDM's about to get the briefcase. And, oh, Logan Paul with a rock bottom on Dan TDM from the top of the ladder. Dan TDM is out. Everybody else seems to be out on the outside of the ring. Logan Paul to the top of the ladder and wins money in the bank. Logan Paul is Mr. Money in the Bank. I reckon that's an upset. I thought Matt Pat and Dan TDM were going to sneak that, but Logan Paul is Mr. Money in the Bank. Guys, drop a like if you enjoyed the video. Sunday, um, might be doing just a different video. I might be playing some Sonic Mania because I really want to. So I've got the new Sonic game. I'm going to play it on Sunday because uh, I'm excited about Sonic Mania because Sonic is actually my fave. Uh, but yeah, so uh, N60 Mania will continue on Monday. We've got our three title matches, people. We've got our tag team title match inside Hell in a Cell. We've got our Heroes Championship match and the N60 Championship. Guys, watch some more videos. That helps us out massively. Go and relive some old memories in some of the older seasons. Uh, drop a like and please do subscribe because that really does help us out as well. You guys know the score. Have a tremendous day, guys. The rest of, And have a lovely rest of your YouTube adventure. See you later, guys. Bye-bye.